I don't need cognition, I need to reduce awakening. An automated turret covers the approach to the intersection ahead. This product of Nethas industriousness is bristling with Gauss blasters and tracks constantly for new targets. Stealthy approach. Try to find alternative route. Technological superiority. Attempt to deactivate the turret remotely. <laughs> Uh, this will probably get a shot. Try to find a route around the intersection. There probably isn't. Why would they leave an alternate route? And then put the turret here. Attempt to deactivate the turret remotely? A really? A carefully modulated data stream sent from the cohort's comms unit interferes with the turret's Xenos technology and drives it haywire. How did you manage that? You, the Mechanicus managed to outtech the Necrons. Really, that's not that's not how 40k is written. 40k doesn't work like that. The Necrons are more advanced than humans. The turret sprays fire in all directions until it suffers a temporary power failure. At which point, the cohort can approach and shut it down. They recover the spent power coils from the device so the precious metals inside can be repurposed. That I don't believe that happens in 40k. Alright, so we can't, we have no way to reduce the awakening. It's gonna be four or five. Or maybe even six. High value target location confirmed. Sound the hounds, the baying commences. This place is not just a tomb. A shield to protect us in our slumber. A monument to our grandeur. It is all these, but. It is much more. I built a machine for grinding down the tomb robbers and desecrators who would defile our graves. I built a place of death that would feed your kind into the killing places I prepared. You stand in one such place. Now. Let the machine do its work. Alright, bro. The works of the enemy come thus to light. Appendix Heuristica 73.90 and we shall cast them down, then corrupt by their presence. We shall break the teeth of the Xenos that would swallow us whole. I am no soulless peasant. I am a lord of the dynasty of Cesaragon, the architect of your galaxy's next million years. A galaxy where your filth will never again set foot. <laughs> this is galaxy. I uh, Neftask. I don't know if you know this, but this galaxy is very, very filthy. It is more filthy than you can handle. Ahead lies a structure like a miniature fortress, its battlements manned with legions of sculpted Necron warriors. Painful green light bleeds from its gateways and murder holes. A pair of doors in front of the structure shudder with pulse with energy, as the being inside runs through the final moments of the tomb's reanimation protocols. Protection, say the prayer of recalcitrance before attacking to shield the body against attack. Strength, say the incantation of blessing of the works of war to lend the Omnicide's might to the cohort's weapons. Intone the sacrosanct words of the hypothesis in violate in violate in viol in violate in violate to strengthen resolve against mental attack. Um I just we're just gonna charge it and smash him, right? O oh, Omnisire, Lord and Blessed of Mars, to the edge of our blades and the tips of our bullets grant the furious fire of Olympus Mons itself. Alright, it makes no difference. <laughs> Can we burn him down in one turn or is this gonna be a, a gimmicky map where we have to wait? Come on, F Task, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Is he really right there? No, we need to destroy these things, right? He's not really right there. Um, you. Uh, who is this? Who is this? You? No. Who is? Who is that? All the units look the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's one problem with this game. Everybody looks the same. Uh, you... Okay, gun guy, and then... You... And then you... And then you... Don't I have to break those? And if I do, what is the most efficient way to break those? Somebody with a long range weapon, right? Can I can I get that much range on it? Or do I need to walk up to it? Kill or destroy targets. game really doesn't explain. Okay, this is the shield. The red thing is the shield, correct? And if I try to target him... I can't target him, correct? Are you pause? You don't have enough range, you pause. What is the range on your gun? Uh, gun guy might have enough range. Alright, gun guy, you want to think about... Grabbing commission, first of all. Gun guy, if you walk all the way to there, what the hell is this thing anyway? Twenty ninth. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna kill it in one turn. Power up. Power up. Reduce cost. Get onto the platform, you don't want to go across there. And turn. You with the cannons.
spirit. Does he attack? Does he attack my guys? When he's inside the shield? 8 to 10. to 10. So I'm going to get five awakening. I mean, it's kind of okay. We're getting zeros on the other missions anyway. Oh, it's down to five. Crazy. You intern there. What right have you to tread this planet? It was hours before you crawled from the swamps of your home world. Yeah, and now we're gonna take yours. <laughs> doesn't move. Can I review his stats? Wow. Talk about armor, am I right? I'm assuming... I'm assuming uh, when we break that, we break his armor. Wait, could I have just hit him without breaking the shield things? No, he is out of range. We can't actually reach him. That does nothing. Oh, maybe I could have just used the... Uh, ignore armor incantation. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, actually. Uh, this will hit my own guys. I should move my guys back out of there. Right, like this, this will... That will hit my own guys. <laughs> Let me stand over here so it doesn't hit my own guys. Well, you know what, I'll do that next turn. Alright, let's move him here. Move him here. I wonder if the ignore can would have worked here. It kind of seems like that's what they thought you would do. Well, maybe not. They expect you... They definitely expect you to... break the three crystals. But could you bypass the three crystals by, by uh, using ignore armor? Alright, what's this? 11. This may or may not destroy it. Alright, one of them is down. And he takes 10 damage? Ok. 
Okay. Let me go ahead and get these cognition. Are those real turrets? Do they shoot at me? They haven't shot at me yet. Alright, let me continue getting cognition. You can end turn. Ten. Cognition freedom. What does that do? Eight to ten. Okay, I'm gonna guarantee I... Destroy the, the crystal. By doing this. Alright, it does 10 more damage to him. Oh, the turrets appear after I break the crystals, I see. What is he at? 10 health? Doesn't breaking the last crystal destroy him? If I had brought like long range weapons on all six guys, I think I could have just broken the crystals in one turn and killed them. Maybe. Alright, you. That's at five. Condition freedom. Blast that. Okay, we okay, we win. Uh, unfortunately, we got five awakening in this mission. I mean, the boss fights are always gonna cost us. I guess. All right, five bosses down. Only the final boss left, but there's a whole lot of uh, side missions that we can still do. Lord Neftusk falls inert. His massively powerful war form finally inflicted with enough damage to cripple and deactivate it. The Grand Architect's death is marked by a shudder throughout the tomb complex, as if the structures built at his command resonate with the force of his destruction. Neftask's spires will never rise above Silver Tenebras. Get wrecked. Target eliminated. Blood the hounds and take the trophies. Hunt complete. Necron discorporation equals unfortunate. Xenos construction methods greatly desire regret interrupt no remains to dissect the slab grows cold life of saint Dacianus, chapter 60 give thanks only that the enemy has fallen care not for his motives nor for the promise of his te teachings define him slow solely by his death and the gains mankind makes thereby I return joy at Neftas' destruction, however I shall not choose to act upon it. We are not yet finished with this world, and the Necrons have yet have not yet finished with us. Further high value target intelligence still to be acquired. Silver Tenebra still has prey. Alright, cool. And of course, you know, in terms of the story... The story implies that every boss we kill weakens the Necrons, right? It implies that every boss we kill makes the Necrons less effective. So you would think that by killing a boss, you should rewind Awakening, like you should reduce Awakening by killing a boss. Like that would make sense, but no. Every time you kill a boss, Awakening goes up, <laughs> right? Somehow killing their leaders causes everything else to, to awaken faster. <laughs> which, which goes against, like, it, it goes opposite to how the, the story is written. Kill five bosses, Canticle of the Iron Soul. The next damage would deal plus 12 damage. Yeah, but that's not that important. Alright, we're at 58 Awakening. We've killed five of the six bosses. Only Saragon is left. We can attack him at any time we want. But we still have missions, we have still have 
these missions. We still have these missions. This guy, I haven't done any of his stuff. And then, the hidden guy. We have uh, a number of seals. I think there's like six or eight seals. So, I'm going to do as many of these missions as I can. Right, if I can keep awakening at like zero or one, we can probably do all the missions before doing the final mission. Alright, that's the plan. Oh, let me just check the big robot I got. I got level two... wait a minute, no. I got level two giant servitor. Machine spirit attacks deal plus two damage. Alright, that's not, that's not much better. <laughs> I mean, these look amazing. They look like they should do a button of damage, but actually they don't compared to your to your tech priest. And they're so expensive to deploy. Alright, saving and I will see you next time.